Hi and welcome to your next stop on the road trip. I hope that your trip has been great so far. I am a part of an open playlist, Thrift Flip Road Trip, and I hope that you will enjoy the projects that I bring to you today. Um, I will have more information on that road trip later on in the video. So for right now, let's just get to the DIY. But first, I wanted to show you a quick look of what Utah looks like right now. March snow. It's so pretty, but I'm ready for spring. <laughs> it's pretty darn cold right now, but this is your next stop, so I wanted to show you what it looks like. So what better project to do for a road trip than a suitcase? <laughs> I thought it was so perfect for this playlist. I got this Samsonite, and don't shoot me for doing this, but it is pretty beat up, it's got a lot of huge black marks that won't come off. This is actually after I've cleaned it, um, which it did clean up pretty well, but I am going to redo this, so stay tuned. This truly is a really neat piece, but like I said, it was pretty beat up. All those black scratches and the, the sewing on the sides was coming up. So I figured it's not really going to be damaging a really good antique. Because <laughs> I looked these up and this one is from the 50s. And man, it is heavy. I can't imagine having to carry this around with, with my stuff in it. Because I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> but um, I'm just taking tape and masking off all of the areas I don't want painted. I'm planning on leaving all of the trim on the sides the leather there along the sides and the gold pieces locks um, and the handle all in original color i thought that would make it pop out even more be really pretty so as you can see i'm just making sure that all of those areas are masked off really well and the fun thing about working with chalk paint is that if you get it on somewhere you can always use a, a wet cloth and wipe it right off so it's so versatile to be able to work with so here I'm just uh, painting the top and just giving it you know even strokes along the way that I want it so it flows really well because you'll be able to see the strokes and so I want to be universal with it, not like back and forth in different directions. And so I'm just making sure I'm getting into all the little grooves too. And here I used a smaller brush to get into the little areas there. And I am going sideways at first, but then you'll see in a little bit that I went the other direction. So it's universal with all, all of the rest of it. I really loved how this piece turned out. I can't wait for you to see it. <laughs> so then I'm just doing the sides here too, doing it the same direction of the paint to make it stay the same universal way and it looks really pretty. I'm so excited to be a part of this playlist hosted by Teresa at R Green Acres and Kay at Trish from Crafting Cousins. They are so wonderful to put this playlist together for all of us creators to help boost our channels as well as their own. I will have that link for both their channels and the playlist down below so check out all of them and especially that playlist for all the other creators and subscribe to each of them. They work so hard for this. And don't forget to subscribe to all of our channels. That really helps us out a lot. So here I'm just finishing up that side that I started, getting in all of the middle part of where the suitcase comes open. I want to get all the metal in there and everything so you don't see any of that inside. And of course you have to do the back or the bottom, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> if it's laying on its side, it's the back. If it's laying on that, it's the bottom. <laughs> But I'm doing the same thing that I did on the front. And see how there was a gouge in there? So that was a pretty big gouge. And so when I painted it, it covered it pretty well. And 
and I figured it being the bottom and the back that I wouldn't bother um, trying to mask off those metal pieces for the stand. So that's all done with two coats and dried and ready to go. I didn't want to bore you with the second coat. So now I'm just sanding down those brush strokes because I don't want them to come through to see, you know, very boldly. I want them to be subtle and smoothed down. And in the process, I'm kind of doing a distressing too. Um, I did more on the corners and the edges there than I did on the base of it until later on. And I am debating on possibly doing a antiquing wax on it, but for now it, it was finished just the white. So, <laughs> so now I'm measuring it to um, do stripes, so I'm masking off where I want the middle stripe to be, trying to make sure it's even and doing the other side here. And as you can see, when you sand down chalk paint, it's pretty messy. <laughs> so now I'm using that pretty um, sheepskin colored chalk paint from Folk Art. And it's so pretty, it's, it's almost yellowish, but yet cream. It's just really pretty and it gives it that subtle transition from the white to this color. I like it. I just thought it turned out so, so pretty. I wanted to get on real quick and talk to you about a competition that I'm in called DIY Hero. And currently I'm in first place, which I'm so excited for. And I wanted to see if I can get more uh, votes so that I can be guaranteed that I will win this competition. It is voting every day, so I am asking a lot of, of you to do this. Um, but I really appreciate you, and I hope that if you enjoy my content that I bring to you, that you would be willing to vote for me. I am just so excited that I want to do a lot with the winnings and start a foundation and I just I just want to be able to, to have this for my family as well. And so if you could go on to the link that's down below and vote for me, <laughs> I would really appreciate it and I thank you so much in advance. Thank you and let's get back to the video. So you can see here now it's a better view of the top. Just getting that stripe down the middle. And this you can do any color you want, which is nice. You could be more bold and do like a black and white or a gray and, and maroon or, you know, you could do whatever color you want to fit your style and to fit your home decor to match anything that you have currently. And I thought this would be more of like a neutral color that I could just put anywhere and it would match really well. So I thought it would be cute to have thin stripes on each side of the thicker stripe. It makes it kind of more, I don't know, have more dimension. There's my hubby. <laughs> so my footage that I had of painting these thin stripes was really super blurry. I don't know what happened. But you can see that I painted those the same color. And I did find this idea from a picture on Pinterest that was similar, but I wanted to do a little bit different. And being such a big piece, it needed more than just the middle stripes. So here I'm just masking it off, not so much for it, for a paint, but a guide. And I'm doing this stencil I have from Chalk Couture. And um, don't tell anyone, shh, but I'm using this same regular chalk paint with the Chalk Couture stencil instead of the paste. <laughs> um, I didn't have any color that would match this for the paste, so I'm using this, and it turned out really cute. So this gave it that extra 
little decorative piece without it being a stripe and kind of made it look a little farmhouse shabby chic kind of thing and I just thought it was really pretty and it's hard to tell with the video but I hope you can see it so then I just lined it up to the back so that I could make the line continue all the way to the end and just did the same thing with the stencil brush and just pounced on it and smoothed it out so that it would go through I really like how it turned out. And there we go. So of course you have to bounce it out and do the other side. Look how pretty it's looking. I love it. So now just taking off the tape to reveal everything that I've done, how pretty it looks. And on the transfer it got it pulled up that tape or er, paint, so I'm just covering that up. Even though it's going to be laying on this side, I thought it would be better to, you know, make it a finished product by making sure the back was done the same way. So now this is the fun part, just taking off all that tape so that you can reveal what it looks like. And I love how the handle, I kept it the brown to give it that contrast. And all the gold pieces on it, it just, it just looks really classy and pretty. I just love it. And look at that brown on the sides. It's so, so pretty. Of course you have to clean all of it up after all the sanding and the paint so I'm just cleaning all of that up and then around the lock and that I think it turned out gorgeous. Let me know in the comments what you think of my suitcase. I think it turned out beautiful and it matches my other suitcase really well. And I'm planning on painting the cedar chest below the same color as the cream in the stripes. I really love it and I hope you love this video. Make sure to check out that playlist and don't forget to subscribe to everyone's channels. Thank you and have a great day.